pray. Princess Serenity, can you come to the front as we start with the prayer this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a beautiful day it is to be in the house of the Lord indeed. Let us just prepare our hearts for prayer as we open our books to the Bible of Psalm 46. Let us open our Bible book of Psalm 46. We will start reading from verse 1. Can I hear an amen if you are there? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So my Bible reads, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Yeah. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth will be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters therefore, thereof roar and be troubled, through the mountains, though the mountains shake with swelling thereof, Selah. There is a river, the streams thereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heaven raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Amen. Now, here, this is a, a, a verse written in times of trouble. Now, this verse speaks of praising God for being the source of our power and salvation in times of trouble. I just want us to give grace to God so that God, I just want us to pray so that God gives us grace to trust Him in times of trouble. We are in a time where the devil is going to do everything he can to make sure we are out of alignment with, the, with God. The devil is going to throw different kinds of things towards you so that you are shaken. But we are standing, we are in the month of stability. So I want you to pray that God gives you the strength to let yourself stand empty before Him in times of trouble. So, child of God, I want you to open your mouth and pray this morning. Let God give you the, the grace to stand and trust in Him in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, King of glory, we come before your throne this morning, King of glory. We give you all the glory, God, and all the grace. Lord Almighty, I stand before your throne to ask for your grace, Jehovah God Almighty. I ask for your grace that you help us stand to trust you, Lord Almighty. Let us stand for the God Almighty, empty before you. In times of trouble, Jehovah God Almighty, give us the grace to trust in you. I pray, Jehovah God Almighty, whatsoever comes our way, remind us of who you are, Jehovah God Almighty. Focus 
to play any instruments so that we can pray, hallelujah, and we can hear each other. Princess Redeemed, can you come, hallelujah? Hallelujah. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verses 23. Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 23. It reads, Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. This preacher is telling us that we have control over whatever, can, that whatever that comes into our hearts. We have control of what to see, what to hear, what to touch, what to do. So we pray this morning for the strength that Lord, give us the strength to come against every hindrance, everything that we are not supposed to do, every pollution that has to come into our hearts, Father God, we come against it. Church, let us pray this morning. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne. I come first from this morning, we ask for Lord Almighty that we come against every human, every pollution that we have been to come into our hearts and ruin our way to salvation, Father God. We come against it, Father God. We come against the spirit of pity in all Lord Almighty. The spirit of pity is supposed to be attacked by others, Father God. We come against every place of the enemy, Lord Almighty. Isaiah 61, verse 1 to 3. Isaiah 61, verse 1 to 3. It says, The Spirit of the Lord and King is on me. The Lord has anointed me to tell the good news to the poor people. He has sent me to comfort those whose hearts have been broken. He has sent me to announce freedom for those who have been captured. He wants me to set prisoners free from their dark prisons. He has sent me to announce the year when he will set his people free. He wants me to announce the day when he will pay his enemies back. Our God has sent me to comfort all those who are sad. Verse 3, he wants me to help those in Zion who are filled with sorrow. I will put beautiful crowns on their heads in place of ashes. I will anoint them with oil to give them gladness instead of sorrow. I will give them a spirit of praise in place of a spirit of sadness. They will be like oak trees that are strong and straight. The Lord himself will plant them in the land. That will show how glorious he is. Now in these three verses, I want you to notice how it says, In the beginning, the spirit of the Lord has anointed me. And the spirit of the Lord is on me. I also want you to notice that, in every verse, it starts with, he has sent me, the Lord wants me to. Meaning that it is not our own agenda. It is not we want to do this or I want to do that. We need to focus on the will of God and what he wants us to do. I want us to pray that as the Lord has anointed me and as the Spirit has come upon us, we pray that we will be obedient. Last Sunday, we learned that we need to trust and obey. I want us to pray for the spirit of obedience so that wherever the Lord says we need to go, we will go and listen. Children of God, let us pray. Lord, we bring ourselves before you for your words. Thank you, Lord.
Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. Father, we bless you. Amen. Let us open our Bibles to 1 Corinthians 12. We'll take it from verse 12. Are we all there? Amen. The Bible reads, For as the body is one, and as many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. This morning, let us pray for unity and oneness in the house of God. The enemy will try and come with tactics, and cause separation, That's but we right. cancel it in the name in the of Jesus. Child of God, let us pray. Lord, 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 we come to you, Lord, and we come and we pray for unity, Lord. Unity and oneness, Lord, that the man who we hear that is the worship you, we be one spirit, one society. Father, Lord, we cancel every spirit of the enemy, Lord, that we cause separation. Through offense, Father, God, the right to do. Take this man that will separate us, Father God, and cancel it in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Father God Almighty, for unity. We pray, Lord God, that we shall worship you in one, Father God Almighty. We pray that we shall not separate from your presence, Lord God Almighty. That as we come to you, Lord God Almighty, we shall come with two hearts. And we shall come as one, Father God Almighty. We bless you and we thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we all agree that this is my service? Can we all agree this is your service? Can we place a demand on this service and say, Lord, I am here for you. I am here to be touched. I am here to be transformed. I'm not here for my neighbor. I'm not here for the people. I'm not even here for the pastors. I am here to touch the Lord. Pray for yourself this morning and say, Father, I need a word this morning. A word that will set me free. I need a word that will heal me. I need a word that will transform me. I need a word that will give me clarity. Holy Spirit, I invite you. I am here for you this morning. Remo Satabakaya. We need you, we need you. We need you as a church. We need you as a nation. We need you as families. We are here for you, Jehovah. We are here for you, King of Kings. Touch us and transform us. Heal us, Lord God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Can we just lift up our hands and give God worship? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lift up your hands. Yes, just lift up your hands this morning and just worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Kayaba se kadaman de bosata. Remende de bekeria basa kadaman de bosata. Ande bosoto bokoria basata bakaya. Andama mama mamaria tabakaya. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Jesus, you are welcome in this place. Abba Father, you are welcome in this place. And we worship your Lord, O oh God. We exalt you, King of Kings. We declare this place is yours. This place is yours, O oh Lord. Come and do what only you can do. Come and move in our hearts, move in our spirits. Come and move, Lord God, from one chair to another. We are lifting up our heads, Lord God. We are lifting up our voices to you to give you all the worship, to give you all the adoration. For you alone are God worthy to be praised. Our worship belongs to you. Bless the be your holy name, oh Lord, oh God. In Jesus' name, we have worship. Amen and amen. amen. Put your hands together as you take your seat. Lord. Please be seated in his presence. God is good. And all the time, God is good. And all the time, hallelujah. I want you to welcome that person sitting next to you and just say thank you for coming to the Royal House. Welcome someone. Give them a smile. Give them a high five. Give them a hug if you can. Just welcome someone already. 
Say thank you. Thank you for coming to the house of the Lord. Thank you that you did not stay home. Hallelujah. Now this is Abundant Life Ministries for those of you who are coming here for the first time. This is Abundant Life Ministries and this branch is known as the Royal Assembly. Now the vision of this church is taken from the book of John chapter 10 verse 10. The Bible says the thief came. Somebody say the thief came. The thief came. To do what? To steal, kill and destroy. So there is a three point agenda of the enemy. He came to steal, kill and destroy. But Jesus said, I have come so that you may have life and have it in abundance. It's a choice for you to have life and have it in abundance. And so the vision of this church is to declare the order of God in the lives of God's people. For who is this church? If you took your last cigarette yesterday, you are at the right place. If you drank yesterday, you are at the right place. If you lied yesterday, you are at the right place. If you, if you committed any sin, this is the right place. And trust me, if you hang on a little bit, all those things will be no more. Hallelujah. Because the word that comes out will make sure that order is declared in your life. And before you know it, you will stop with the cigarette. You will stop with the alcohol. You will stop with the fornication. You will stop with the adultery. You will stop with the life. Because there is power in the word of God. And so I welcome you. And I don't want the enemy to make you feel guilty about what happened yesterday. This is the house of your father. I want you to be free and I want you to celebrate the goodness of the Lord in your life. COVID happened. So many people passed on, but the Lord kept you and me so that we can go out and do greater work. So I want to welcome you. If you are here for the first time, the second time, the third time, the fifth time as a visitor to the royal house, I want to welcome you to the house of your father. Thank you so much for coming to the house of your father. And if you are here for the first time, can you majestically stand on your feet so that we can welcome you? If you are here for the first time, we want to welcome you. Hallelujah. Let's For coming to the house of your father if you were not here that chair would have been empty so we thank god that you are here this morning all the royal sons and all the royal daughters you are welcome in the house of the lord may the lord bless you this morning and can we quickly stand on our feet this morning as we welcome our senior pastor the visionary of abundant life Really be blessed. Levites, you are welcome as well in the house of the Lord. May you really be blessed.
praise the Lord. Uh, if you need to dance in the corridor, this is your moment. Because we are here to praise the Lord. For freedom, today we are celebrating as the church, Namibia's independence. And the day is on the 21st, but we will not be together. So we have chosen this day as a church to say thank you to the Lord for giving us independence and for giving us peace. So can we say hallelujah to the king of kings? Hallelujah to the king.
you to say it prophetically. I'm sailing on the sea of this life and see yourself flying. so that we make space there. You can come here to the front. Yeah. There's still there's still chairs. Please come. Hallelujah. So in this house we celebrate lives. So if you celebrated your birthday last week till this week Sunday, can you just stand so that we celebrate you? Is there anyone? Yes. Oh. to pray for you and then we will sing for you. Apostle, you are welcome. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us stretch our hands as we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this precious daughter and the son for the days of their life. We thank you for we know the day they were born. You have a great plan for them and you have preserved them up to this day. And today as we celebrate your goodness, we declare that your plan and purpose for their life shall manifest without any delay. We declare that the light of God will shine upon you. Every crooked way shall be made straight. Heaven will open upon you and everywhere you go, you shall be called blessed. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you turn around and we want to sing? There was a song that was going, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.
yesterday we had a discussion with a, with a youth. And, and what the apostle was saying is, and, and this is our desire as pastors, that as we go along this, this segment, offering time, time to show love should be scrapped from our program. Because we will grow to the point that we know we must give. We don't need a message to tell us we must give. Yes. We will be so mature that we know. I don't need to be told to give my offerings. I don't need a short message to be told how to give my, my tithe. I am a mature child of God. Yeah. That even if I don't hear, yeah. I am wired that way. Yeah. That I should give. So it is our desire as pastors that as we grow eh, very soon, this segment... Yes will be out yes. so that we save time on serious issues yeah. hallelujah yeah. and that it will not cause us to stumble yeah. during COVID we gave yeah. and we didn't need any message to tell us to yeah. give so as we grow this, this story will be out yeah. so today let us stand on our feet and take out our thanksgiving offering we are thanking God for our nation this morning so please take out your good offering Hallelujah. And today I want you to be your neighbor's keeper. Check whether your neighbor has offering. If you have more, give your neighbor to give. Only today, because we are celebrating independence. Check your neighbor. We want our neighbors to give. We want all of us to thank God for this nation. Yeah. Does your neighbor have anything? Please. Make sure your neighbor is covered this morning. Any neighbor without offering? One neighbor? One neighbor? You can come? All neighbors have. Okay. Yeah. Make sure your, your neighbor must not be left out. Yeah. Yeah. Ask, ask your neighbor. Neighbor, are you sorted? Ask your neighbor. Neighbor, are you cool? Are you sorted? Do you have offering? This morning we want to bring an offering to the Lord as a nation. As a nation. In royal assembly. Neighbors have. Huh? Our neighbors here in front. Our neighbors okay? Uh -huh. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I will ask Apostle to pray over this offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Just lift up your offerings. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come with our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We appreciate you for everything you have done for us in this nation. The peace we have, the opportunity to worship, to praise you without any hindrance. And we are also giving this thanksgiving offering to thank you for what you will still do for us in this nation and we say oh lord receive our thanksgiving offering in the name of jesus and i pray for every hand that gives you shall bless them and bless them indeed in the name of jesus and when the blessing come it shall be permanent the enemy will not steal your blessing and you will enjoy this blessing in the peace of the lord in jesus name we pray amen, amen. now today i want us to bring it so we will start walking from the back first this side from there you cross here and go back orderly i mean we are a house of order we should be able to do this so we come from the back and you turn here so that there is space and you go back there let's try let's see whether we will manage this one Hallelujah. We bring a sacrifice of praise to the house. You have to come here, here. We bring a sacrifice of praise to the house.
made right. Let's lift up our hands to the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. As we worship him. And as we give him all the glory. Hallelujah.
seated. Hallelujah. I must confess we are all looking marvelous. It's like we are just cut out of the international magazine. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are so glad and proud to have everybody in the house of the Lord. You know, we said today we are celebrating the independence of our nation. And uh, before we go to that, and I will give us all the instruction of all we need to do, uh, we want to go to a special segment because today is very, very important. So today we are receiving new members into the family. Christ and the church and the fellowship is growing right. and we thank God for what he's busy doing yes, and uh, this morning we're so excited we got a message um, audio message from Mama Claudia and uh, I, I mentioned the last time we the church was given the land in Okongo and I'm glad to announce to you very soon Grace Assembly will be starting waiting for the date, either June or August, we will all go as a church to go and plant that branch there in Okongo. So she told us the land has been cleaned, it is clear, everything is fine. So she asked that we continue to pray for her and for all the people that are there. Amen. She even decided, no, Apostle and prophetess, you are my children, you must become farmers now. Yeah. So they are giving us a land there to start farming. So, but you know we are house of celebration. But I think that farm will be used to raise the cattle which will be used for celebration. So we thank God that is what God can do. And he, if he said it, he will surely do it. Amen. So, uh, Kingdom Kids, don't worry. I just want you to be around with us for this segment. And after some time, I will ask you, then you can you can go. Amen. So, the technical, logistic, can you help us lower that yeah, thing is giving us a echo? Just lower a little. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Okay, it's much better. Can you hear me at the back? Amen. Amen. So I want to welcome. No, before that, I think there are three people are standing who were baptized in February, and we are owing you your certificate of baptism. Yeah, prophetess, please help me. And uh, I want us to just celebrate them as we have. I've, I've got their certificate here. So I hope the media are ready to. So I will start with blessings. I tembo. for some time and they say we have test drive 
and we have seen and the spirit of God said we should make this place our home. So we want to officially welcome them into the family. You know, sometimes you, you people just come, they sit there, they sit here, you just wait, you say, is this one of us? And so today officially we want to now uh, we want to now welcome them. So the first person, help me put your hands together, Max Unjulua. So for now, you will just start, you just start, you will face me, yeah. Uh, John Fredina. Yeah. Sakaria Mulilo. Hallelujah. God makes us a part of a larger family when we are born again. Aside that, we are also expected to be covenant in a local body and live in community with them. Maar dan moet ons een plaatselijke lichaam insluit en in gemeenschap met de leef en instem volgen zekere gevestigde goddelijke beginsels. We agree to live by the established godly principle and standard. Membership doesn't save us. Let us cap. Uh, read on sneak. Uh, being a member of a church doesn't mean you go to heaven straight. But it enables us to grow and become spiritually mature in Christ. Not only should we be members of a fellowship, each of us should also be able to express the value of the membership. Church membership is not like membership of the civic organization or a country club. Letmaatschap is niet zoals letmaatschap van een bijkerlijke organisatie of een bijteklip nu. Een kerkletmaatschap is niet zoals letmaatschap in een sokkerklap of een nepalklap. So it's a kind of membership given to us according to the Bible in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Dit is die soort letmaatschap wat voor ons gegeven wordt volgens 1 Corinthians hoofdstuk 12. Hoofdstuk 12. So when we ask what do we mean by membership, church membership? So To become a member is to formally commit yourself to 
an identifiable local body of believers a church like this who are established for a purpose like this ministry we are established for a purpose and that purpose is to declare the order of God in the lives of his people hallelujah so and when you become a member, you are expected to receive instruction from God's word. So, when you are a member, you are expected to receive instruction from the word. To serve and edify one another through proper use of spiritual gifts. And on the on the team and the heads of the year, on each harvest to be prayed for the furthering of the heads of the year and the. In the land of Christ, participate in ordinances like the Holy Communion. Om deel te neem en en dinge soos die Heilige Communie. To proclaim the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to those who are lost. Om die evangelie te verkondig aan hulle wat verlore is. Also, when we become a member of a church, you submit yourself to the care and authority of the leaders God has placed over you. That betekent dat u moet ook onderkander wees aan die leiding en die zorg van die pastoren. Amen. So at this point, before we receive them, we're going to ask some two questions. And we are going to make a pledge in the presence of God and the people. And I'm going to call the resident pastor of Royal Assembly. She will also make a pledge. Then from there, we will pray. And we will officially introduce you to the church. So now we will ask a question for everyone who has led to the church of the church. And then we will ask the pastor to answer the question. And then we will ask. Official, uh, the, the, the members and me. The first question is this: If, if I ask, if you agree, you just say, "I will." Exal, I will. Uh, the first question is: As I have asked, say, "Exal." Thomas, I think you can stand behind. Sorry, my bad, because you're not standing in front of people, right in front of people. Mm. Can you just go to the front and just lift up your camera? Thank you. Mm. All right. As members of Abandoned Life Ministries, Royal Assembly, will you be loyal to Christ and do all in your power to strengthen his ministries? As leader of Abandoned Life Ministries, Royal Assembly, this is now the question that all the leaders will be. As leader of Abandoned Life Ministries Royal Assembly, shall I loyal to Christ be and all that he will do to be able to serve him? As he will say, yes. Yes. As members of this congregation, Will you faithfully participate in his ministries by your prayers, your presence, your gift, your service, and your witnesses? As ye let mate van hier die gemeente, as sal ye as a let mat van hier die gemeente getrouw deel neem aan sy bediening dier jou gebede, jou teenwoordigheid, jou gaves, Jou diens en jou gedeenis. As dit so is sê, ja, ek sal. Amen. Can we clap for them? Now we go on to take the members pledge. And I think we'll do it this way. We'll do for English. Then we will do for the African speaking. Amen. So when I say I, you mention your name. So say this after me. So we shall now the the plug name for the lead mother. We shall first for the lead do what English understand, and then shall we go for the Afrikaans do. Say hi. Hi. You mention your name. Saved and washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. 
Know that I am God's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that I should walk in them. I pledge that I will walk worthy of my calling. As a functioning member, I will give to support the work of God. I will serve faithfully. I will evangelize. I will study the word of God. I will seek to be a blessing to others. I will remember that if one member suffers, all members suffers with it. If one member is honored, all members rejoice with it. I will seek to be a source of unity in this church. I will pray for my church leaders and the vision of the church. I will treasure church membership as a gift. I pray that I will not take my membership for granted but see it as a gift an opportunity to serve others and to be a part of something much greater than any one person or member in Jesus name I pledge Amen Ik zal nu die plek neem voor relevant Afrikaans verstaan. Zo, so, ik zal ze uh, 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 achter me. En als ik ze ik, dan ze ik, ik en dan inam. Zo, so, ons begint ze ik, ze inam. Ja. Ze gereed en gewas. Dier die bloed van Jezus Christus, weet dat ik Gods vakmanschap is, geskip in Christus, Jezus tot goede werken, wat God van de voren verordineer het. Dat ik daarin moet wandelen. Zo so ik pleit. Als een functionerende lidmaat. Zal ik gee. Om die kerk van. Om die werk van God. Te ondersteunen. Ik zal getrouw dien. En ik zal evangeliseren. Ik zal die woord van God bestuderen. Ik zal proberen om als een verander te wees. Ik zal onthou. Ik zal boeg om een bron van eerheid, van bron van eenheid. En die kerk te wees. Ik zal bed voor mijn kerk leers. En die visie van die kerk. Ik zal kerk lidmaatschap als een geschenk vat. Ik bed dat ik niet mijn lidmaatschap als vanzelfsprekend zal aanvaarden, maar dit zal zien als een geschenk en een geleerdheid om ander te dienen en deel te wees van iets zoveel so groter als enige 
pursuing of let mud. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So before we pray and I know I'm going to ask the resident pastor to also take a pledge. Hallelujah. Say hi. I, called by Anabatmos, called by God, called by God, as a shepherd, as a shepherd, to look after God's sheep, to look after God's people, pledge, pledge, to walk worthy of my calling, to walk worthy of my calling, feed the church of God, feed the church of God, which Jesus purchased, which Jesus purchased with his own blood, with his own blood, I pledge, I pledge, to lead, to meet, to lead, to lead, and guide, and guide each sheep, each sheep according to God's instruction. According to God's instruction, and pray for them, and pray for them at all times, at all times. Not by might, not by might, nor by power, not by power, but by the Spirit of but God. By the Spirit of God. So help me God. So help me God. Amen. Into the time of prayer, anointing. Can you help me with this? Also, no. In a date for the bed, in hand, in the sound. You can just go on your knees. As it more like a sign of the elders. The elders, if they can, then just give them a chair to to sit. Say for mama. Yeah, give mama a chair to sit. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Jesus. Ephesians chapter three, fourteen to twenty. Say for this reason. I kneel before the Father, from whom the family in heaven and on earth derive his name. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith. I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know that it's love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled with the pressure of all his fullness. Now to him who is able to do immeasurable more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generation forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we present the sons and daughters yes, who have heard you and they say they are ready to advance your kingdom yes, and they are brought into the vision to be part of this ministry. Yes, Today we receive them yes. into fellowship yes, in the mighty name of yes, Jesus. Lord. And as we anoint them, yes. we anoint them with the spirit of excellence. Yes, we anoint them with the strength that is of the Lord. Yes. That which you have invested in them, yes. they will do it and they will use your gift for your glory yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because they are part of this ministry, abundant life ministry, I declare yes. the abundance of Christ the abundance of God. That's the way life shall be their portion yes. in the mighty name yes, of Jesus. Lord. As they receive this anointing, I pray for yes, divine Lord. empowerment, divine enablement yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, and as we release this anointing upon them, every negative word that has been spoken over yes. their life, over their ministry, yes. in the past we cut it off. This anointing changes everything. Yes, and we declare in their walk with you. They start a new journey with you in the name of Jesus. I stand on Romans chapter 8 verse 1 that there is no condemnation for anyone who is in Christ Jesus. Father, because of this grace, this anointing, every tongue that is condemning them, we silence them in the mighty name of Jesus and we declare they are, they are on their journey of great exploit in you in the mighty name of Jesus. We anoint them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, you that do great exploit for the Lord, yes. in the name of Jesus, we receive you and anoint you in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. The Lord will use you for His glory. We anoint you 
in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. That which God has set you about to do, you shall do it without any hindrance. In the name of Jesus, today we anoint you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we declare that heaven will open upon you right now in the name of Jesus. The plan and purpose of God for you shall manifest without any interest and delay in the name of Jesus. We anoint you as we receive you from this day. Heaven open upon you. From this day, God use you for his glory. From this day, that which the Lord has said about you begin to manifest from this time in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we anoint you and we release strength. We release the favor of God. We release newness from the crown of your feet to the sole of your feet. Because God has set you apart to use you in this end time. Anything causing hindrances in this body, this anointing break that yoke in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we anoint your son as we receive them into the fellowship. And I decree in the name of Jesus, God will use you for his glory. His presence will always rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Can you please just turn around and face the Hallelujah. congregation? Dear royal sons and daughters, family and friends of ALM Royal Assembly, those who are here on site and those worshiping us online, I present to you your prince and princesses.
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now please turn back to me as we present your certificate to you because the Bible says, oh, no one's anything except Lord. Please, you may be seated. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I hope our medias are ready. Yeah, yeah let's start from uh, Prince Castro Mutello. Yeah. Elizabeth Adams. Babi Andura. Ana Chio. Sakaria Mulilo. John Fredina. And uh, last but not the least, Mas. So, what officially you are welcome.